Alrighty guys, welcome to your 38th video, and in this video, now that we understand all of the different terms concerning waves, we can go ahead and take a look at some simple wave formulas. Now before I actually talk to you guys about the formula itself, I might as well give you guys the variables that we're going to be using inside the formula. So the very first thing is V, which stands for velocity, which is of course the speed of the wave. The second variable we use is something that looks like that. It's a Greek letter, I believe. And this symbolizes the wavelength. Why they just didn't use W? I don't know. Blame the physicist, not me. And the last one is just F, and it stands for frequency of the wave. So say that you were a surfer, and you were sitting, you know, maybe you're in Hawaii, on your surfboard, riding the waves, and you got bored, so there's some waves right there and I might as well draw you hey here's my surfboard and here's me I love surfing in Hawaii alright oh excuse me I got like kennel corn stuck in my freaking throat or something but anyways you were bored and you decided that while waiting for waves you wanted to make some calculations because not only are you a surfer but you're also a scientist so the first thing you did was decide to figure out the frequency of the waves so you had a little watch and you figured out that five waves came every minute so you went ahead and you said you know what that is actually frequency five waves every one minutes but I'm gonna go ahead and reduce this to seconds so this would be one wave every 12 seconds the next thing you did is you wanted to find the wavelength of these waves so you said okay from this point to this point point A to point B I'm gonna go ahead and measure that I don't know maybe you had a freaking tape measure maybe you were just judging it but either way you figured that the distance from A to B was 10 meters and of course you knew that was the way oh what the heck is wrong with my freaking throat it sounds like I'm gurgling pudding or something alright so anyways you now have the frequency and the wavelength and you're like oh crap I want to figure out the velocity how fast these waves are coming but I don't know how to do that actually lucky for you you watched this tutorial and you know that the formula for velocity equals wavelength times frequency and you're like oh yeah I remember that now so let's go ahead and make some calculations so in order to find the velocity first of all you have to grab a BB gun and shoot this dog across from me that's barking right now and once you're done with that go ahead and take the wavelength which is 10 meters and multiply it by the frequency which is 1 over 12 seconds so one wave comes every 12 seconds now whenever you multiply this you're gonna get 10 meters over 12 seconds so of course what this would mean is the velocity for these waves right here is 10 meters over 12 seconds or 0.83 meters per second so again that is how you calculate the velocity or wavelength or frequency using this formula right here and again if you want to you know calculate the wavelength then you just you know divide both sides by the frequency but for this formula this is usually how it's written velocity of a wave equals the wavelength times its frequency and in this instance what you would do if you wanted to calculate the wavelength or excuse me the velocity of these waves is you would first to recap one last time get the frequency so you said five waves were coming every minute so one wave every 12 seconds next you would get the wavelength and you would times the wavelength which is 10 meters by the frequency which is 1 over 12 end up with 10 meters over 12 seconds and once you multiply those you get your final answer which is 0.83 meters per second that is how fast the waves that are going that you're surfing on